They are the two most exciting words in sports. Game seven. This building is going to be rocking tonight. The towels are all set to go out. There's going to be more than 12,000 fans inside this place trying to scream the VGK onto victory. Now the team held an optional morning skate this morning out at City National Arena in Summerlin. There weren't a lot of players on the ice, but Ryan Reeves was. Yesterday, you may remember, he was put on the COVID list alongside Braden McNabb. Today, the NHL took him off the list, so it appears to be a false positive, and Reeves could play tonight. No sign of Max Pacioretty, who head coach Pete DeBoer said has been skating on his own, but we'll have to wait to see if he's going to play and give some offensive punch to the Golden Knights during warmups. As for the crowd, the Golden Knights said having home ice advantage in this situation is exactly what they played for all season long, and they want to ride every ounce of energy that the fans give tonight. You know they're not going to disappoint us uh, with what they're going to bring, um, you know, from an energy and atmosphere point of view. And, you know, frankly, that, that's why we push so hard during the regular season for, to, to, you know, to make sure that you have the ability to have these type of uh, uh, moments and situations, uh, you know, in front of a, a crowd that's uh, supporting you like they do here. We're a veteran group. We know how to win hockey games. We know what to do to win. And we just have to go out there, have fun, uh, enjoy the, the crowd on your side and uh, take care of business. Face-off is set for 6 o'clock. The winner of the game goes on the face Colorado in the second round. Beginning on Sunday, the loser will hit the golf course. Coming up on Fox 5 News at 5, more details to get you ready for puck drop as it's a very historic and significant fight in Las Vegas history. That's it for now. We're live inside T-Mobile. Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.